two people dead. It scared me. I like, whoa, really? Two others found with a drug-resistant bacteria in a North Sound nursing home. Best drugs in the world can't stop these germs. Cairo 7 goes in-depth. What's keeping your loved ones safe in facilities and hospitals? It's concerning, obviously, um, and I believe that it's the tip of the iceberg. And investigates the growing public health threat behind the bacteria. The Department of Health identified the bacteria at Everett Center Nursing Home this spring. And some patients' families say they never even knew about it. Kara 7's Lindsay Sheldon tracked the cases across western Washington and asked what you should do to protect your loved ones. It's uncurable. It's uncurable. In my wife's case, since an open wound. Randy Ide's wife has been at this Everett nursing facility on 112th Street for a year. Danny Haslund's husband, just a couple of weeks. He has a, an, an IV in his arm where he's been getting antibiotics because he's been sick. Preventing pain and infections is always on their minds. So when Cairo 7 was the first to tell them about two patients dying with a drug-resistant bacteria earlier this year, they were shocked. That kind of blows me away. I wish somebody would have told us that. But I would be worried if something like that happened to my husband. In fact, Cairo 7 only discovered the deaths when they were mentioned in public records we requested from Snohomish County on a completely different subject. In this situation, we've uncovered a problem that we didn't know we had. Dr. Marisa DeAngeli with the Washington Department of Health says this problem is called CRAB. It's a kind of bacteria that's resistant to a class of last-ditch antibiotics. And the CDC called it a serious threat in this 2013 report. Antibiotic resistance is a growing problem, and it's a problem not only in the United States, but all around the world. We basically are running out of antibiotics that will be effective. The Department of Health does surveillance for antibiotic resistant bacteria, including crab, popping up in Washington. As you can see, in 2017, there were 30 crab cases in our state. Two in Pierce County were OXA 23, the specific type found at the Everett facility. In 2018, there were 28 cases, including 11 OXA 23 across several counties. And as of mid October this year, there were 21 crab cases, with the four OXA 23 in Snohomish County. In addition to the two people who died, I don't know whether they died with it or if they died from it. Two because others had become carriers. I do believe that um, there was likely in facility transmission, but we really don't know how it was spread. So why didn't people like Randy? I don't like to be in the dark on stuff like this, and, and patient shouldn't be in the dark. Know about it. Are they able to find out if there have been previous clusters at these facilities? There is no database that captures that information. It's not mandated to be submitted, so there may be cases happening that we're not aware of. We reached out to Genesis Healthcare, which runs the Everett facility, and they told us in part they notified all patients on the affected unit. And that flyers were distributed and posters were posted throughout the building for an information session. They also added that we have no information that anyone died from the crab bacteria, but it's unclear if they would have been notified. D'Angelo says they advised the facility on how to prevent future infections, though it was already making improvements. And she said there's a new requirement for nursing homes as of this month. They have someone who is specifically trained in infection prevention and works at least part time in the facility, and that they're incorporating their work into the quality program. That's something hospitals like Harborview already have. We try to really focus on our infection prevention, you know, bedrock principles washing your hands, right? People, if people do have one of these things, wearing our gowns and gloves. Dr. John Lynch says they test any patients coming from outside of the U.S. who have been hospitalized in the last year. And what we really want to do is to not give antibiotics inappropriately. Otherwise, they're wiping out good bacteria, which allows these antibiotic resistant bacteria to thrive. But at a nursing facility, what can you do to protect yourself or a loved one? Dr. D'Angeli recommends checking the facility on the state's nursing home compare website.
asking about their infection prevention program, reminding healthcare workers to wash their hands, and making it easy for staff to clean the room properly. Move things that are in the way, you know, encourage them to come close to the bedside and clean the, the bedside table and the bed rails and stuff like that. Families of patients like Randy Eide and Danny Haslin are fearful. As for cleaning, they could do a lot better job. There's no question in my mind. But also hopeful about improvements ahead. Yeah. He's been through so much. I hope that they've got this under control. We also learned this type of bacteria can transfer its antibiotic resistance to any other bacteria it touches. It's why doctors are so concerned, especially for medically fragile people like the patients we showed you here. It doesn't normally affect people who are healthy. Lindsay Sheldon, Cairo 7 News.